So do you ever wonder why some people keep running for years and meet running targets and other people don't? Well, I think I may have stumbled on a reason. Hi, I'm Ralph, the Walk to Ages Runner. So I wasn't out researching anything in particular, but I did come across a paper that had nothing to do about running. But once I read the abstract, I thought this has a lot to do with running and might be a reason why people might give up on running or give up on meeting a target. A target, for example, like you want, you want to train and run a half marathon, but you never quite get that training accomplished, never get to run that race. So as I said, I, I wasn't researching this, but I came across a paper, and it was actually published uh, by the Associate, Association of Psychological Science. And let me just read the uh, article, or the paper title to you. It says, Losing Sight of Piecemeal Progress. People lump and dismiss improvement efforts that fall short of categorical change despite improving. And, and the gist of the paper, now I did not get to read the papers behind a paywall. I wasn't going to join this association just to read this paper, but they have a very nice abstract. And it's actually a study done of 10,000 people uh, where they had to do various experiments and, and get the results. And what it found is that if people were trying to make a change, an improvement change in their lives, uh, would give up and stop because they didn't meet that change, but even though they were getting incremental change, they were seeing incremental improvement. And let me just again quote from the abstract. This increased dismissal of relative gains, you know, this incremental improvement, uh, as all the same, was driven by the belief that falling short signals and its jewel of doing the bare minimum, lacking serious intent to change, making these gains seem less deserving of recognition. Clearly, participants then checked out the unrewarded and underinvested endeavors toward merely incremental improvement. So again, what this study says is a little bit about, I think we all, all know this, that even though people were making progress, maybe they're trying to achieve a goal and improving themselves in some way, even though they weren't getting to that goal quickly, they were still making some progress. They kind of gave up and said, why do we even bother? I'm not even going to put in the minimum effort. They checked out as the abstract says. Again, I think this is one of these studies where, uh, you know, why didn't the author call me? I think I could have told him that because uh, I think people tend to give up if they don't see those big changes. You see that a lot people trying to do weight loss, you know, trying to lose 20 pounds, 30 pounds, and they give up uh, for lots of reasons. But if they don't see those big changes, then they kind of get discouraged and give up. Same thing can happen with running. Uh, you know, maybe you start running, you, you set a goal, maybe just running a 5K, but you just don't seem to be making the progress you want to make and you give up, even though you are making progress, even though you're losing weight, you're losing a little bit every week. Uh, people will tend to give up on that. And I think we kind of knew that but this study just kind of put it in maybe more of a research uh, type of context. So, so what does this mean to us as runners? Well, I think knowing this is a big is a big eye opener. It's a big help being recognizes this. It allows, us, it allows us to reframe how we think about our running and our running improvements. If you're a beginning runner or if you're just a runner, you've been running for a while, but not but you've got this target out there. Maybe you've never run a marathon. You want to do that and you're trying to train and do that. It allows you to reframe your progress and realize as long as I'm making progress, I'm doing well. So a couple of things you can do to help reframe that. One is to recognize that just simply going out and running is a success. That's an improvement. Every time you go out and run, you improve your cardiovascular fitness, you make yourself strong, you make yourself better and healthier. So that in itself is progress. So recognize every time you run is progress, you're making positive change in your life. The other thing I think is to look at the typical measurements of running, which there's, I think there's two that typically people use, that is mileage and time, whether time is pace or overall time to run a certain distance. A lot of times, you know, I think what can happen is maybe you ran two miles today, Next week, you want to run a two and a half miles, but you don't make two and a half miles. You make 2.2 or two and a quarter. That still is progress. That's what the article was saying. The paper was saying, you're still making incremental improvement. Don't let that discourage you. You're still progressing. You're still moving forward. As long as you're moving forward, celebrate that success and keep going. Do not, do not get discouraged if you're not making those big changes. Do not expect big changes. The other thing I think we can do is look at different measures of improvement. For example, Cadence, how, what is your cadence? Check your cadence every once in a while. Get your cadence up to 180. 
and just working on cadence, do a check, set your metronome at 180, run that run at 180, that's success. You had good cadence for that run. Celebrate that success. Same, same thing could be said with form. Work on your form for, for several runs. Improve maybe your arm motion. Improve maybe your, uh, the way your, your feet move. Improve where you hold your head. Those are all successes. And celebrate all those little successes. Redefine improvement. Redefine success. Don't feel like, don't get discouraged if you don't get that big change. You don't you know, run two miles this week and then run three next week. That's not a failure. That's a success, even if you run a little bit. So redefine success. Reframe that. So I hope you learned something here today. It was a little bit of an eye opener for me when I read that article. It's something I think I innately knew, but I think it gives you as a runner in any type of improvement you're doing uh, permission to, to celebrate the little successes. You don't have that big change. If you don't uh, meet that mileage you want to do today, you're still making improvement. You're still out there running. You're, st you're still a success. So celebrate those things and just keep on running and keep on doing. So thanks again for watching this video. If you liked it, scroll down and hit that like icon. And if you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you stick around. Hit that subscribe button also. Thanks again and happy running. I, 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 I,